Previously on The Face, our models stepped it up. Beautiful. In a high-end fashion show at the Opera House. I think the girls did amazing. Team Naomi won yet again. <laughs> giving Naomi the power to decide who stays and who goes. The girl that I'm going to keep is Yaya. And Team Nicole was wiped out of the competition. It's the way the cookie crumbles. I don't agree with your decision. She lifted her dress. We know that you go you, no, no, no. fitting. Don't compare yourself to me, ever. Tonight, it's game on. It's Team Cheyenne and Team Naomi, and we're like this. I'm ready for Cheyenne. I'm sure Cheyenne's ready for me. Let's go at it. In the search to find the one model who'll become the face of Fresh Effects by Ole. As the two remaining teams shut your mouth. Go head to head. Oh, oh, oh right. Right. you okay? Can someone carry her? Can I get ice, please? Only one mentor can win. It's about time that we take out one of Naomi's girls. And only one model will become the face. It's literally Team Naomi versus Team Cheyenne now. From the beginning, we were always like, oh my God. Nicole, whatever. Like, we discarded Team Nicole because you didn't think no competition. We are like, yeah, it's always Team Naomi, Team Cheyenne. Now yeah. it's like reality. Whilst it's really sad to see Nush go and to see the end of Team Nicole, in terms of competition, I mean, it's that's a good thing, really. I mean, that's one less team we have to worry about. Now it's only Cheyenne we've got to look out for. So you can only feel sad for so long when it comes to these things. Imagine if we got to the top four, the four of us. Naomi was we've like, I love it. We've always said final four, guys. But it's actually happening. Final four. We actually have. Only three left to go. Three left to kick out. That's Who knocking out. Go? It must be frustrating for Team Cheyenne to be always like so close, but just not close enough. Like yeah. that would be, like they've won one, but we've won three. It's so hard just winning everything. It's ridiculous, I just wanna lose. Someone from Naomi's team has yeah. got to go. Mm -hmm. Like they've had their entire team together since day one. Team Naomi hasn't lost a girl. It only means that this is gonna get tougher. We all have to be strong in Team Cheyenne and take them down. It's real now, like we have to compete. The game is on. Yeah. Team Cheyenne, we are just so ready to win this. And I feel personally as if I can just take this team to the next level. I'm excited about our next test shoot. I'm curious as to what they're going to throw at us, because at this point, we're kind of like, we've done everything. Like, what else can we do? Like, what else are they going to chuck at us? Girls, prepare to find yourself way out of your comfort zone. Because you're going to be doing a photo shoot to promote a brand new lingerie collection from American burlesque icon, Dita Von Teese. Oh, my God! I love doing lingerie. Finally, I can be sexy and just be normal. And judging you today is somebody who knows all that there is to know about posing in sexy lingerie. Nicole Trumpio. Now, Nicole may no longer have a team in this competition, but she still has so much to teach. So we're incredibly lucky to have her here today for today's test shoot. I've always admired Nicole. I think she's an amazing model. So now she doesn't have a team, you know, she can give us all her little extra bits of information as well. So I'm, I'm stoked. The trick to modeling lingerie is looking sexy without looking trashy. You have to portray a sensual, sexy woman that's very uninhibited, that's aware of her body. You need to really, really embrace your curves. I don't know how I'm going to do this because I'm a very conservative girl. I'm very religious. Your whole body is exposed. You're exposed. So you have to really know how to hold your body when you're modeling lingerie. With my beliefs and my culture, women have to be extremely conservative. We have to be extremely covered. And even that, we don't do any of this raw and cheese stuff. Girls, a big part of being a model is being able to make a connection with the camera. But today, 
you're going to be having to make a connection with a complete and total oh stranger. Oh my god! Oh, I'm freaking out. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you serious? <laughs> I'm quite excited, you know, we've been locked in this house for a while, so it's quite good to see a half-naked male. Girls, meet your co-star for today, Jordan Coulter. Hi. I don't know how I'm going to do this because my family will kill me. I don't know what to do at this point. Who's nervous? Hmm? Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. why are you nervous? Um... Mainly because I'm quite a conservative girl, so it's going to be a bit of acting, trying to portray that chemistry. But when you're modelling, it is a performance. You have to bring out your inner diva and put on a show. It's not real life. Nicole will be judging how well you sell the lingerie through the art of seduction. And the winner of this test shoot will win a collection from Dita Von Teese's lingerie line. <laughs> Now, girls, before we begin, you're about to get a chemistry lesson from somebody who has yes. a PhD yes. in sex appeal. <laughs> Take it away, Nicole. Oh, <laughs> I am so glad Nicole is here to show us how it's done because she knows how to model lingerie. Wow. Bit of an closer. Nicole is just working it. She is actually an incredible model and to watch her move and work with the guy was just like, wow, like holy moly, she is smoking. <laughs> I believed every single thing that they were doing and I felt almost intrusive that I was watching. First up is Ruth. Oh, oh, I actually knew I'd go first. <laughs> oh, unlucky me. I'm called up first. Yay. Where do I put my robe? Just take it oh, out. I, like, turn around to take off my robe, like, as if he's not going to see it anywhere and, like, everyone's watching and I'm like, oh, my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a dog. I'm such a, like, tomboy, so I'm like, uh... I'm in sexy lingerie next to a half naked guy. It's kind of weird. God. Ruth, your 90 seconds starts now. I'm trying to think of like body options and where I am, but at the same time, because there's the guy there, you've got to think about the connection with that guy and like how you look with them too. So it's so hard. Do you feel there's a chemistry between them? Yeah, I think she's really liking it. I think she looks really cool in these photos. Time. It would have been so much easier if it was my boyfriend. I've been all over that shit. I've been great. <laughs> Ooh, so steamy. The next girl up is Brittany. Woo! Last week in the campaign, Brittany did really well. I was a little bit surprised, so she's having a little comeback. <laughs> Brittany, your time starts now. Great. Now look to me. It was an interesting challenge, like, actually having to be next to this gorgeous guy, like, half-naked, and you're half-naked, and then I've got to, like, nail the shot to make sure I'm modelling correctly. In her face, I don't feel like she owns any of it. I feel like she's overthinking, and there's no sexuality. It's more modelling. She's definitely not a lingerie model. When it comes to lingerie modelling, you have to be really conscious of your body and the way that you hold your body. Why is not afraid to show her ass? They've got to let go of their inhibitions, be conscious of their body, and connect with the man. Never, never have I modelled with a male model before. She looks really shy. It's so uncomfortable that this is going to be really bad. All right, the next girl up is Olivia. Woo! Olivia wakes up and she just looks sexy. She could walk in the room and just look at you and you're like, are you hitting on me? Because there's just some natural aura about her. I think Olivia's got 
the whole package. You know, she's got the sexy look, she's got the curves, she's got everything. I haven't been this close to a boy since I was my boyfriend. <laughs> All right, Olivia, your 90 seconds starts now. Make right. more connection with him. Everyone expected her to use this sexiness that she's got, but I didn't really feel the connection there. I'm feeling like I'm not delivering. I just can't let loose. There's no chemistry between us. Time. <laughs> it just wasn't working for me. Sarah, your 90 seconds starts now. I was thinking about my boyfriend the entire shoot. I was worried what he was going to think about it. There's something going on here. There's something wrong. It is, like Nicole said, part of the profession. And if I was to not do it, I'd just be showing that I'm unprofessional. She's a great body for me, Cool. Good. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm nervous about this test shoot. It just feels very strange having to portray a character that I'm not. Time. <laughs> OK, so the last girl up, we have Yaya. She was freaking out. She was like, oh, my god, I don't really don't want to do this. But she was just stressing. I'm still kind of feeling reserved about this. I don't know if I'm going to go through it. Coming up. This is the first campaign where it's Team Cheyenne and Team Naomi. I'm ready for Cheyenne. I'm sure Cheyenne's ready for me. Let's go at it. So One. scared. I'm prepared to take Team Naomi down 100%. One, two, three, jump. Oh, 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 oh. Here you go. You're not friends. You're in a competition. Keep it that way. So next up, we have Yaya. This is a very uncomfortable situation for me. I'm really feeling so nervous and insecure at this moment. I don't know what my family is going to think of this. Yaya, your 90 seconds starts now. Get closer to him, Yaya. I've never modelled with a male model like this before. It's strange for me. Like, it's a different step for me. And so if I'm going to take this step, I better win this. Otherwise, it's going to be pointless. Oh, she's really nice. Yeah, she's liking it. She's strong. Oh, she looks great. Oh, my God, she looked hot. That bum, damn, they're like two little muffins. It's like digging out, she looked hot. She's so strong and so confident. And look at the way she's using her hands with him. This looks like images out of B magazine. I was so proud of Yaya. She was so nervous. She just turned on the heat. It's actually really interesting to watch her. Yeah, great. Time. <laughs> at the end of the day, I chose to do that test shoot for myself. I chose to show future clients that I can embody a different character that me as a person won't hold me back. And so for me, I felt really great. So girls, we asked you to really bring some chemistry to that shoot. Some of you did it, and some of you maybe just missed the mark. The two models that gave us the least chemistry was Nicolina and Olivia. Nicolina, we could tell that you were awkward. We could only find really one picture that had that chemistry. And Olivia, we just didn't feel your connection with the model or the photographer. Yeah. It's really funny because Olivia's so, so sexy, but she just didn't have any kind of self-confidence with her body. And it's amazing because she actually had one of the best bodies out of all the girls. I just really didn't want to touch that boy, no offense. <laughs> There were two standout performances, and it came down to a battle between Yaya. Whoa. <laughs> wow, girl. And Sarah. Whoa. Hey, girl. Girl. Oh my but there can only be one winner. 
and the absolute standout today was Yaya. <gasps> So emotional. I cannot believe I went through that. I trusted my instinct and I said to myself, do it and do it to the best of your ability. Yaya, why are you crying? <laughs> because it's a completely different character to me and I was acting the whole time and I can't believe it worked. Like, I can't believe it worked. What, what was going through your head before you stepped onto the set? Jesus, forgive me. Jesus, forgive me. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh. What was going through your head when you stepped off the set? <laughs> Jesus, Jesus forgive me. <laughs> so, Yaya, you've won a collection from Dita Von Teese's lingerie line. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, for now, you might want to go get some rest because it's going to be a big day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon. Thank, Thank you. you. I feel really confident that now that if I go home and my family asks me, why did you do that? I'm going to say, I did it because I'm a model, and that's what models do. And I did it to the best of my ability, and I won. So what happened yesterday? It was just oh, something really? a bit weird between me and Chantel, I think. Why? I feel like she's being more distant or more, like, not as close to me. Really? Yeah. I feel like there's things that are being unsaid. And I don't know if it's personal. I I really want to find out why it's been happening. Some of the girls have been telling me, like, about her bitching behind my back. Yeah. I didn't mean to, but I shared it with Naomi. I said to Naomi that Chantel's been saying, you're the odd one out, you're the um, weakest link in the group. Personally, I just think it's just the competition starting to get a bit stiff. And so you just talk to them and let them know how you feel. I just find it weird that you solved it and then it happened again. So yeah. it must not be you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Girls, for today's campaign, you're going to have to put your creativity on the line as you shoot a lookbook for iconic sunglass company, Le Specs. <laughs> the new line of sunglasses you'll be promoting is called by Craig and Carl for Le Specs. And here with us today are the two people that will be judging you in this campaign. Le Specs designer and brand manager, Hamish Tame, and marketing manager, Lana Rowell. Now, you're fortunate enough to have Nicole here to help you out with this campaign and give you some advice. Ooh, yeah. So, Nicole, shooting a lookbook for Le Specs is quite a big deal. What recommendations can you give to the girls? A lookbook is much different than a campaign. It's not about the vision of what the designer wants to portray for the season. It's all about the product. You have to take this line and just really have fun with it. So, in yesterday's test shoot, you learned how to make a connection with a male model well, girls, you're going to have to put that to good use today. Because for today's campaign, you'll be sharing the spotlight with these gentlemen. <laughs> girls, in front of you are four of the hottest contemporary dancers in the country. Oh, they have performed with the likes of Kelly Rowland and Lady Gaga. But today, girls, they are all yours. Yay! I started to think about it slowly, like three girls, four guys, how are we going to do this? And started to freak out a bit. You have one hour to workshop your ideas, then you'll have 20 minutes in front of the camera in order to be able to capture your lookbook. Whoa. Each team's lookbook must consist of four great images. The team that wins today will feature in the specs 2014 summer campaign. Oh my God! For the losing team, not one, oh my but God. two of you will be facing the elimination room and risk being cut from the competition. Oh my God. Girls, with just two teams left, the stakes are higher than ever. And the fight to stay out of the elimination room just got a whole lot tougher. So give this one everything you've got. Good luck, everyone. 
It's so much scarier now to lose a campaign because if Team Naomi loses, Naomi has to pick two of us to go into elimination as opposed to one, so uh, it's really scary to think of. Well, this is a big one. This is the first campaign where it's Team Cheyenne and Team Naomi, and we're like this. It's about time that we take out one of Naomi's girls. Hi, guys. Yeah, the game's on now, and it's a real competition now, and they need to understand that. And then you go. Naomi and Shana have always been, you know, head to head with most campaigns, and it's always come down to like the tiniest of things. I used to do ballet. So, you know, definitely fuels our drive and makes us want to win more. Oh, why don't we get them to like do some kind of, you yeah, guys are dead, poses. and then they can jump up and do some kind of can can situation? I think this is the hardest campaign that we have ever had to do, definitely. I'm so scared. The three of us in Team Cheyenne are really close. We've become like sisters. Oh, oh my God. Who can do that, girls? <laughs> and then you look at Team Naomi and they've just got really big clashing personalities and there's just always something, always drama. I understand that there is a little awkwardness in the group. Yes. May I ask you a question, Chantal? Yeah. Have you been saying to Sarah, and to Ruth, I'm not accusing, I'm just asking, mm. that Brittany is the weakest link of Team Naomi. No. Mm. No, she hasn't she said never said that. Never, never, never said that at all. Okay. I am really, really hurt that Brittany spoke to Naomi without talking to us, because what she said was not true. Okay, I'm going to make a rule okay. from this point forward. Mm. You do not speak on campaign days about things before, because it can be unnerving. And we I... are all professional models, and like Naomi says, when you're on, you're on. Now's not the time. Speak it out in your rooms before. Yeah. OK? Not the day of. Yeah. OK, so let's go and do this. OK, let's do it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sarah, you take the tallest. And Chantal, take the next one in the white shirt and the black pants. So now the competition is Team Naomi and Team Cheyenne. This has never happened before in the face. It's another precedent. And it doesn't mean that we don't love Nicole, but it just means that Nicole had chosen her girls in the wrong way. Hello. Going into this, I am most worried about Brittany. The dynamic of having a dysfunction in a team can absolutely affect the performance. Because when Brittany's alone in the picture, it's fine. But when she's with the other girls or someone else, she can be overpowered. What are you doing, Brittany? Are you in the picture or you're not involved in the picture? Maybe go like this, Brittany. Use my glasses. But connect. You're not connected to this whole group. I get annoyed when Brittany keeps asking me, what do I do, what do I do? I want to help her as much as I can, but it does get frustrating because it's not like once a week, twice a week thing. It's like a constant every day, five times a day thing. One, two, three, jump, Ruth. But Ruth, OK, don't hold this. Are they falling off? No, they're falling off. OK, so do something beautiful with your hands, chin down. I'm feeling good. I think I've jumped on a trampoline before, and that was perfect for me. So I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go all out. If it includes jumping, sure, let's do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. But a prettier face, Ruth. I'm getting, like, very harsh, hard face. Okay. One, two, three. Yep. Is it? I, you go on your ankle. Yep. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can someone carry it? Ice. Can someone carry ice. It? Can I get ice, please? Oh. Which ice, one? Ice. My foot feels like it's literally on fire. Careful right. of her ankle. Don't move her ankle. It's like rubbing a million miles an hour, and I'm like, holy moly! And I'm just thinking, oh my god, I'm leaving this competition. My foot is broken. Like, I'm screwed. Ah, I can't feel that. Can you bend them over? I can't move it. <sighs> Whoa, that's really cool. Going into the campaign this week, it's, you know, it's, it's Team Naomi versus Team Cheyenne. And I think having had all these wins to back us up, I think we've got a lot more confidence going into this week's campaign. Oh, yeah, girl. It's so good. In our workshop, Ruth fell on her ankle and it looked really painful. So I'm just hoping 
She's okay. How's your ankle? Um, it's getting better. Did I you, just put, you should put it up. I've got ice on it. Keep it up till you have to really use it. I am so determined to get myself back up off that chair, get my foot strapped on, put that freaking heel on, and I'm doing that pose even stronger than what it already is. I'm sorry about that, Ruth. No, it's fine, I told honestly. You to jump. I feel a bit no, bad about that. No, it's not your fault, honestly. I'll just jump on the other leg. Ruth is going on. The show must go on. She's a brave girl, and she's not letting it affect her and doing her challenge. Damn, girl. <laughs> You're looking fun. That's cool. Mm. I like that hair. Team Naomi have a very strong team. They're all willing and able, and they've got a very strict instructor. But I'm prepared to take Team Naomi down 100%. I said to my girls, I will do the fighting for you. You do the work. Hi. Let's go. Who's first? Uh -huh. Competition's going to get rough. I'm ready for Cheyenne. I'm sure Cheyenne's ready for me. Let's go at it. We're going to do Ruth first, because she hurt herself a little bit, and I don't want it to be too much. Hey, my ankle, we're doing that one right now. Are you going to do the jump in first? Okay. Yeah, I want to get that over and done with. I've had my differences with Naomi, but she got the strongest team. And one of her girls deserves to win. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Ruth's leg's not pretty, though, honey. OK. There's a lot of pressure. You've only got 20 minutes to get four good shots. Jump. It is make or break, literally, because if you don't win, someone from the losing team is going home. There's no maybes, Is you are going home. Smile with your eyes, your mouth, a little smirk. Ruth is really cool. She's got a really cool vibe. She definitely embraces that kind of international model. Thank you. High five, dude. So who's up next? OK, let's get Chantal up there. OK, okay it's Chantal, it's a very quick move. Yeah. Rich, you get her up. It's one, two, straight in the camera. We get it and done. Because she's... So next we have Chantel. She's so beautiful and she could win this competition. She has an insane face. Don't put your heel into him, just your base of your foot. Chantal is the baby of the whole group. I don't know if she's modelled with male models or dancers before, so I just want to protect that. Go back down one, honey. It's too high. Chantal gets so close but doesn't want to take that jump and just let go. Strike a pose. And know she's going to be OK. Ah! So stop it. This is not working, not working. Do something else. I want something that cares. It's more about the glasses. This is more of a fashion picture about the dress. I'm just thinking I've just got to kill it at this shoot. I want to feel there's something you were between you and your guy. Otherwise, if we get sent to the elimination room, I could possibly be going home. I love that one, Sarah. It's great, that one. You're like a real dancer there. Obviously, doing a sunglass campaign, expression's got to come from the mouth and from your body. So it's going to be a challenge to still bring out the energy, you know, with your eyes being covered. What about throwing your head back and laughing, smiling? Mm, I like that. It's got good energy. I think Sarah is beautiful and creative, and I think she has what it takes to be the face. Straight to you. How many minutes do I have left, please? Okay. Oh, Brittany, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm starting to feel pressure because we're running out of time. Can't afford to lose. I don't want to lose my girls. Brittany, the arm, the thing, the, 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 it's too much. The body language is awful. I want to show Naomi that, you know, I am growing and that I am strong. This is cool. That's really good. I love that drama. And that I could win the face. That's it. It's good when you lean into him like that. She, she looks scared. <laughs> Chin down a bit. I felt Brittany was the weakest by far. I don't feel like she's her strongest girl. I don't. Come in. There you go. Come in close. One minute. Brittany, do something different. I don't like the hands hanging there. Don't lean on me. Having four girls is difficult. I've got to have my eyes peeled on all four of them. Okay. Brittany, you need to strengthen. And when doing movement, it can be very difficult in trying to catch everything. My eyes have to be truly, really alert. Ruth, don't smile. Chin down, Brittany. Chin down, Chantal. Thank you. I know that Team Cheyenne is going to be very competitive, and they're going to go for it. So bring it on, Cheyenne. Let's see what happens next. 
In the last couple of campaigns, it has come down to Team China and Team Naomi being very close in the winnings. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see you know who pulls out the best photo and what the client likes. My plan is to get tight shots, but a movement shot as well, so we understand that they're dancing as movement, as a whole situation going on. Yeah, so I want that energy from the girls. I think they need to have personality, they need to show a sense of humour. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be enforcing today. Um, so we're going to have a jump in the background. Yeah, let's do it. So this is the first, we're going to do like the big one, and then I'm going to start to come in, and it's just going to still have a bit, but there's just going to be shots. Focus on your sunglasses, girls. That's what you're here for. Go. One, two, three. Wow. That's really well choreographed. Like, for him to jump and still be in the photo. Yeah. It's great. Cheyenne picked great girls. We have to watch out for Team Cheyenne. No, OK, more energy. Let's do it. We'll get a few of these. Do you want me to jump, or do you want me to do I want you okay. to do what you're doing and shut your mouth. OK. I keep telling her about this, this mouth thing, and I don't want her to lose that completely. I just want her to tone it down. Shut your mouth. If I don't show Cheyenne that, you know, I've learned from my mistakes, that I'm listening to her about, you know, my facial expressions, that'll definitely be put up for elimination. One, two, three. Beautiful. I think the other two girls are connected with their guys. I think Olivia's not connected with hers. Yeah. Can you do somewhere you're just getting that? Two of us have to go into the elimination room if we lose this campaign, and I don't want it to be me. Therefore, I need to work harder than the rest of the girls. One, two, three. Great. Yaya is our little underdog in this competition, and you know me, I love an underdog. She could go all the way. Focus, guys, come on. Something like that. I like that picture. That's cool, yeah. How's that light? Is that okay? Love it. It definitely crossed my mind a couple of times, the fact that Yaya had won the challenge, so I really just had to forget about the test shoot and just do what I had to do. That's it. I have to be the best in my team. I love that picture. She just looks good in glasses. Yeah, she does. Every pair. We have some very stiff competition, and we may not have won this one. love to beat Team Naomi. They have won almost every campaign, and I think it's about time one of those girls goes home. <laughs>So guys, for today's campaign, where we're here shooting a lookbook for Australia's iconic sunglass brand, Les Bex. All right, Hamish and Lana, I'm sure you're dying to see the photos. Yeah, can't wait. So let's start with Team Cheyenne's lookbook. Okay, great. Wow. Instantly, you can see the variety in a lot of the shots, mm -hmm. and I think the male dancers don't really overshadow the models mm -hmm. and the frames. I think there's a beautiful, like, use of angles and sort of those sharper, kind of strong postures yeah. as well, which yeah. is quite nice in these. So let's take a look at these photos individually. Yep. The first photo up is Yaya. I mean, instantly you can see how strong the pose is, and she's definitely owning this image, I think. Next photo, please. I really think it does set the tone of the other shots. It does have a beautiful feeling yeah. about it. You know, it really captures the movement and I think it has a nice type of energy about it. You know, I just want to be in there, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that they really own the shot and you instantly look at the sunglasses here. Yeah. Mm. And the final shot. I'd have to say that this is my least favourite shot. Yeah. Um, I don't think it has the energy of the other shots. OK, let's have a look at Team Naomi's lookbook. First impressions, I mean, definitely strong images, you know, straight off the bat. The sunglasses are definitely the hero in all of the shots. So what do you like about this photo? For starters, she's smiling, so it really picks up on the playfulness. I don't know that it matches what he's doing, though, in this shot, I think. Yeah, there's a bit of disparity with their looks. I love the different hues of pink played up in this shot. I think it looks great. I think she's got a, a really beautiful face and structure, and um, I'm just not sure about the connection between her and, and him. OK, and let's have a look at the final shot. This is beautiful. Yeah. 
Ruth um, looks incredible, like her, the structure of her cheeks and her jawline and everything's yeah. amazing. The She's hair stunning. is beautiful. It's a stunning photo. You seem quite impressed by both teams. Yeah. I think the girls have done a great job. However, we do have to pick a winner. And we have chosen Team Shaun. So, Congratulations, yes. Diane. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> so I'm so happy. Well, congratulations, Cheyenne. Your team will now be featured in the summer 2014 That's Specs so campaign. That's so amazing. Thank you, guys. Yeah, you did a great job. The girls will be so thrilled. They're going to be so excited, and I think they definitely deserve it. And woo so, Naomi, unfortunately, you're going to have to be putting two What's girls... What's unfortunate about it? It's time. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite time. I'm so, I, I'm, it's unfortunate to lose one of my girls because we've come a long way. But I'm proud of them very, very much for having gotten as far as they've gotten as a team in whole. But it's, it's going to be sad to have to lose one bunny. Hey, guys. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Oh. How are you feeling? I feel sick in the time. Yeah. <laughs> you feel sick? Yeah. yeah. Well, it sucks because it's, you know, it's a hard hmm. thing to go through for any of the teams to put up two of their girls. Because now that it's between Team Naomi and us, how do you guys feel that they haven't lost anything? Every time we've been so close mm. and it's just... Oh. Well, obviously this is a really tough one because I don't want to lose anyone. Mm. You know? <laughs> and luckily... Oh, my God! It's just amazing. The fact that we not only knocked Team Naomi down, the fact that we're going to be the campaign for the specs, like, just everything in one. Like, it's just amazing. So my yeah. girls nailed it. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> Woohoo! Hi, girls. Hi, Hi Naomi. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? OK. So. I believe you know that we did not win this challenge. Mm. How did you know that? You heard Tim Cheyenne jump scream. for joy and scream. And it was, it was kind of like... Her heart's dropped uh, like, oh. So, you know the consequence of what's happened right now. I have to send two of you up. I'm sad. It's not a nice feeling. I'm not happy that I have to put two girls up and only one's going to come back. So, I would like two of you to stay in white clothes and two of you to put on black and then I would like all four of you to wear red lipstick so what are you waiting for I want them to be dignified ladies that they are because we are ladies in team Naomi we are united and no one has ever gotten as far as we've gotten in a hole so I want my girls to change their clothes get themselves to be presentable in front of Cheyenne and they should be so proud when there's a war in the world, the highest selling product for women is red lipstick. It's something that makes women happy when there's a depression, when there's hard times, when there's difficult situations. It's been proven time and time again, okay? So this is why. So we are in Team Naomi situation, an unpleasant one, and I'm definitely gonna lose one of you today. So. That's why I wanted you to change. And I'm now going to tell you the two that I'm going to put up is Chantal and Brittany. I'm putting you up, not based on the challenge of yesterday. I'm putting you up because I can't teach you to have strength and you need to know how to have strength. Mm -hmm. And you, I know you have it there, Brittany, but you've got to be able to bring it on your own because I won't be with you. And I know that you're going to get to that place, but 
You didn't get to break through with me, and I tried hard to break through with you, but we didn't get enough time to do it. So I, therefore, I'm choosing you to go down for elimination. Mm -hmm. And Chantal, I feel that you are almost, almost there. But there's just something that's pulling you a little bit back. You're beautiful. You're both beautiful. You have so many pros, much more pros than I can think cons. But I need you both to be able to not depend on me. I can't be there shouting and telling you what to do. And so this is my decision for sending you both up. And it doesn't mean that I don't love you both. I do. I love you all, but I have to choose the two of you. Okay. And I hope you can understand where I'm coming from. And we're going to stand, the three of us, waiting for you, one of you to come back. I want to hear that you were dignified ladies okay. that fought your case to stay here. I know you know each other a long time. I don't want anything that doesn't have to do with this competition entering into that room. I don't want to hear it. What's personal between Team Naomi stays in Team Naomi, OK? OK. Mm -hmm. Going up against Chantel is going to be tough because she is a fighter and she will fight till she gets what she wants. That's who she is. She's, that's just who Chantel is. Nothing personal, because I will find you in this world. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Soon. Come back to me, one of you. Shaya's going to make her decision however she wants. So for me, I really don't know who's going to come back. She could be strategic, or she could be completely honest. It's always hard to eliminate any girl, especially these two young, beautiful girls who obviously want this so bad. But they came on a competition, and I have to make a decision, and it's it's hard. Hi, girls. Hi, Shane. Now, Chantel, is it hard for you to be here against Brittany? Are you girls close? Yeah. It is hard to be with Brittany because we have been friends for years. But we said friendship out of the competition. Competition. Yeah. It's not about friendship. So, Brittany, you've been here twice now. Why do you think Naomi put you down now? I think the other girls have been a lot stronger and a lot more persistent. I've learned so much already from this competition. And she has seen me grow, but she's also seen me not being as strong as what she would have liked me to be. But it's like... It, like, I'm almost there. That's what I feel, like I'm almost there. Chantal, how do you feel about being here? Why did Naomi put you up? Um, Naomi put me up because of my shoot, the sunglasses one. She felt like I didn't have a connection with the man and the client, but overall, I don't feel like I've deserved to be here because I am strong. I am a fighter. I have been strong the entire competition. I have been consistent. This is my life. This is all I've wanted forever. I will not quit now and I will not lose because I came here to win, not to leave. Brittany, what makes you think you deserve it more than Chantel? I feel as though my look is more olé, more fresh, more angelic. I don't know if that's what they're looking for, but Ooh. That's, how I, that's how I see myself. I feel she's completely wrong. I think I'm versatile. I, however, do not think Brittany's versatile. She has editorial look. I do not see commercial in her. I can do editorial, commercial at all. Each time we've lost, Brittany has been the one down here. I have been strong the entire competition, so I think it's fair that I do stay over Brittany. I think I deserve to be here more than Brittany. I think I deserve just as much as Chantel to be here. I've worked just as hard. I might not have been the strongest in some of the campaigns. My intuition is screaming at me. I feel like I could win this competition. I feel like I could be the face of LA. I've felt it from the moment I auditioned for this. This is what I believe I've been born to do. This is my destiny. So in front of me, I have two beautiful, young, amazing models who have a lot of potential. And you're here for a reason. You made it this far for a reason. So this is a tough decision for me. I have a bit of a dilemma. 
do I keep the strongest girl in this competition or do I get rid of her? I also have a team that I'd like to bring to the end. However, I have decided to keep the strongest model in this competition. To make this the strongest competition that we can. And for that reason, I have decided to keep Chantel. Brad is I don't want to smile, I don't have to smile. You're okay. I am okay. Thank you. Say goodbye. Love you. Mm -hmm. so Love you. Proud. Love you. Thank you, Cheyenne. Me and Brittany have said to each other, when we leave, everything's going to be fine because it's just, it's just a competition. So it's a bit sad, but I'm just going to keep pushing through. <sighs> Brittany, you are a beautiful girl. And you've got so much more to give. You've got, you've got a whole career. This is not... This is not the end, just you know? I just, I just want you to understand that. I came here feeling like I'd, I'm ready. Like, I've been doing it for years now. I feel like I'm ready, like. I know you do. And, and you are, you're beautiful. Listen. Come on, sit down. Thank you so much. You're beautiful. Thank you. Put that really smile cool. back on your face. I'm really You've got a huge future. You have no, don't cry. Just take this that all and but take it all and like in you, in you and just go to your next castings, go to agencies, go and take over the world. That's what you're here to do. Exactly. All right. This is just a learning curve. I'm proud I made it this far. To exactly. Be honest. I am. I'm really proud. And I'm so grateful to meet you and Naomi and Nicole. You're beautiful girls and you're really inspiring. We haven't seen the end of you. No. Okay. Smile. <laughs> I'm upset that I'm going home, but I feel proud. proud of how far I've gone in this competition and I feel like I've, yeah, I've showed the world who I am and this, this is not the last time the world's going to see me, this is just the start of when the world's going to see me. This is going to be a really hard one. Mm-hmm. We are in mourning because we are losing one of our girls, one of our team members. However, it may be someone's coming. Chantal. Team Naomi's always been a little bit ahead of the other girls in terms of numbers and in terms of wins, but now it's, you know, three on three, Cheyenne versus Naomi. And, you know, it's a really even playing field now, so it's interesting to see what's going to happen. What happened in there? Well, Naomi, I thought that Chantel made it more of a point and she really fought for it and she had a lot of passion. Mm -hmm. Although we are in a competition and I did pick the strongest girl. For me, I picked you and you are a strong girl. So we are in competition, but I figured I would rather see you go to the end of this and fight than have someone that I didn't really believe in because ultimately I want to see someone blossom from this. You have the potential, but you, you must. You want to see what's real. I want to see what's real. What's the potential, what's real. Yes, and I believe that you have it in you, but you must listen to Naomi. She didn't send you down there for no reason. I hope you understood why I sent you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Shane. Thanks. I don't want to leave my girls. We're in this together. We will stay together. She could have been extremely strategic because most people wouldn't have kept the stronger one. I don't think I would have. Because next week is semi-final. So one of you's got to go. Whether it's this team, Team Naomi, or Team Cheyenne, we're losing one more girl. 
I feel like the competition now has really become a competition. We have to watch out for Team Cheyenne. I want you girls to work so hard. Give it 100%. I want to take all three of you to the finale. I want you in that show. I want you there. And that's up to you girls. You need to go the extra mile now, and you need to win. Yeah. Like, these girls are beautiful. And you're not friends. You're in a competition. Keep it that way.